Okay, uh, this is John. I'm with Laser Cut Planes. Actually, I am Laser Cut Planes. And I'm going to build uh, one of this year's uh, student competition kits. And just to make sure we're clear, this is for the Right Stuff uh, event or Science Olympiad, but those are protected terms, so I really ought not to uh, use them. Not, not, I'm not going to refer to those. So if I have to refer to the kit, it'll be a student competition kit. Uh, let's see, right off the bat, this is the motor stick and uh, its parts. I'm going to set that aside. That's actually four different pieces, and we'll get to that in, in a minute. Here is the, uh, the 16th wood cut, and you'll see there are spars for both wings, ribs uh, for the wing, ribs for the stabilizer. This is a, uh, these are the stabilizer spars, really the longest parts on the whole plane. And then, uh, well, except for these two little sticks I have cut in right there, which we may use, may not use them. Those are for stiffening the motor stick. Uh, and if necessary, adding a little bit of weight to the plane. Uh, this year's rule is a little bit heavy. It's a nine gram rule um, and a pretty small wing. So, you know, it's going to be kind of a heavily loaded uh, airplane. So I'm going to begin by taking the parts uh, out that I need. The first ones I'm going to use, uh, I'm going to take the wing spars out. And uh, maybe you notice that the, the spars, if you've read the directions, the spars for the left wing are longer than those for the, uh, for the right wing. And that's intentional, that's part of the design, helps to make it uh, turn left very well. So before I, before I you know, do anything with the, with the right wing, I'm going to just get out the left wing parts and I'm going to pop free just, uh, just enough ribs to do that, which these little uh, ribs pop out pretty easily by hand. So I'll pop them all out, the wing ribs that is. Uh, this is, a, this is a, a flat center panel wing, but it's in, made in two parts, the left and the right. And to assemble the wing, I'm just going to, you know, uh, bring the rib up to the slots, and if they, and lay them in there, and then press them down. If they don't fit, don't don't uh, force them to fit. Give them a little squeeze side to side, and that will do the trick. Okay, so there's one rib, two ribs, uh, three ribs. A uh, nice thing about these ribs is that they're really just a circular arc airfoil. Nothing fancy. And because it's just a circular arc, um, it doesn't matter which way front is. So you can build this wing. Uh, well, I should say it's kind of hard to mess up this wing. The one way you could mess it up would be if you had the, had the spars uh, facing opposite directions. So make sure that you have the two ends of the spars that have the slots for the wing joiner uh, in place down there. So I'm just trying to, get the, uh, trying to get the ribs into their positions here. And these are a little bit, uh, a little bit tight. I probably should have squeezed them. But uh, I didn't. Uh, I'm concerned that they're not in all the way. They're now in all the way that way. But I'm going to take a little piece of scrap wood from the uh, kit. I'm just going to use it to press the ribs down so that they're, they're flush with the, uh, the table underneath. And that just makes, makes things a little bit nicer. Get that one down all the way. OK. There. Don't, don't uh, go nuts and try to force it with your finger or tool or something like that. Just a little piece of wood is good. Now I'm going to view this wing from uh, all angles. And the one thing I notice is this wing right now has a little bit of twist in it. So I'm going to keep viewing it until I am satisfied that uh, the wing is straight. Um, don't worry if one of the wings happens to have a little bit of a, a uh, one of the spars happens to have a little bit of a bend in it. It's not the end of the world. We can tease that out. And uh, it also may prove to be exactly the, the adjustment that the plane needs anyway. So don't, don't uh, fret. So I think I see all the ribs in place on that. And uh, there's no glue here yet. I'm just going to set that aside while I get out the ribs for the, uh, the right-hand wing or the, or the starboard wing. OK, this time I learned my lesson. Those ribs that came out a little bit thick. One of the reasons that ribs come out thick is that not all wood in the universe that claims to be 1 16th of an inch thick actually is. Some wood is uh, as, as wide as one, you know, 0 0.070. Some of it's down closer to 0 0.06. So there's quite a lot of variability in, uh, in balsa wood, which is OK. We, we live with that. OK, same story here. And I got the ribs on one spar first. Now here come the ribs on the second spar. OK, same thing. I want to just make sure they're all the way in and all the way uh, seated in their, in their slots. And I think this one came out a little bit better than the uh, left wing. I'm going to give this, this place right here the treatment with the tool again. So I'm just going to kind of take my little scrap of balsa and press that rib down into its slot so it's flush with the, um, with the, the table. OK, now I'm looking at this now. And this one has a little bit of a twist. I'm going to try to untwist it. Almost good. Oop, I went a little bit too far. 
And once you have it so that the spars are exactly right, exactly parallel to each other, set it down. Now I'm going to use a little bit of medium uh, CA glue, which is cyanoacrylate glue. Um, you don't have to use this kind of glue. You can use you can use tight bond. You can use you know you could even use Elmer's. Probably not glue stick for this type of thing. And all I'm doing is a tiny little smear of glue across the bottom of each joint. It doesn't have to be uh, very much at all. This glue is way stronger than the wood. It's it's uh, it's gluing, but it is a great product. Okay, now I'm going to take. Oh, I should have had it over here, but I didn't. I'm going to take a little bit of accelerator um, and give the this little wing quick spritz, and that will be ready to go in just a minute. Uh, now let's do the other part of the wing. This is the left wing, the longer wing, and everything's looking pretty good. One more little tweak, and I think we're there. Okay, let's go with that. Lay it on its back, and you know you try to touch these parts as little as you can because the the more you handle them, the more likely you are to break something. Probably no news to anyone who's been building models for a while. Okay, yeah, that's good. And then we'll give that a quick spritz with our stuff here. It doesn't take much. In fact, if you have new glue, uh, you, you probably don't need to use any uh, accelerator at all. One thing I should caution you about is don't use, um, I wouldn't use thin CA. Thin is kind of popular because it sets so quickly, but you can find yourself glued to a very, very lightweight piece of wood uh, in a heartbeat if you try to, you know, touch the piece yourself. You really have to be very skilled in order to use thin CA um, well. Um, so there's only about, if, if at all, I very seldom use thin. I know a lot of guys who don't use it at all. So this is the uh, these are the stabilizer spars, and they say you, you look at this and it's like wow, it's pretty flimsy stuff, and uh, you're not wrong. But as soon as we cover it, it tends to get a little bit stiffer. Okay, now we need to pop free the uh, the the ribs for the stabilizer, and you can split this wood, you know, to get at the piece. That's not a problem. The piece itself will remain um, intact even as you split the uh, wood to to free it. Okay, there's all those spars, or all those ribs. Okay, let's see, these look a little bit thick as well, so I'm gonna give them the treatment, just, just uh, squeeze it a little bit, lay them into their, into their spots. And uh, you know, the, we've talked about what happens when it's too thick, you give it this little squeeze to get them slightly thinner, but what happens if they're too thin? Well then what you do is you uh, moisten it a little bit, and sometimes you just kind of give it a quick little lick, and that will be enough, and the wood will swell to the point that it will fit. And that's proven to be a pretty reliable technique. Okay, let's get this. A couple more ribs in here. The reason I'm building this kit, I, I, I didn't even begin to, um, I wasn't even going to make a video tonight, but then I realized I wanted to try out a slightly different part. I had adjusted the, uh, uh, the wing struts a little bit in the file, you know, the CAD file, and I wanted to see if it was, um, See if it goes together okay. So here I am. I'm, I've got my all my ribs attached to the you know one of the edges of the uh, stabilizer, the spars of the stabilizer, and now I'm going to come along and seat all of the ribs into their opposing slots on the uh, other spar. That one's a little bit loose. I'll have to watch out for that when I do the glue. Okay, so there's that. Let's see one more, one more. Get in there. Okay, I'm going to pick it up and inspect it, make sure everything's good. That one's a little bit thick. I'm going to squeeze that one so it goes into its slot a little bit better. That's good. That one's in. That one's in. That one's good. Good. Uh, I think I'll. I think I'll print. Oh, that one's a little bit loosey goosey. So we'll just we'll just watch out for that when we add the glue. And again, I want to pick this up and view it and see because I don't really don't want a twisted stabilizer. That one's pretty good. You know, you don't, it doesn't have to be perfect, perfect to the nth degree, but you do want it to be quite close to having, having the two spars parallel to each other. There, I'm going to go with that. Okay, got the glue again. And uh, you really want to watch out, watch out for the rest of your body when you're doing this. So keep your clothes clear, keep your sleeves clear, make sure that nothing else is touching it. 
And when you're on the when you're on these last ribs out toward the end of the spars, you'll see that they they uh, the the spars have kind of an extension on them. We're going to cut that free before we cover it. And what I do when I'm doing this is when I put the glue on there, I don't I don't bother putting any glue um, on the outer part of the spar or, or part pardon me the outer part of the rib where it's it reaches that extension because I'm just going to cut right through there. So there's no use, you know, putting glue there that it might be hard to cut through. Okay, I think I'm just about there. I could use another little deal. Um, and I probably put too much glue there. You really don't need uh, nearly as much as I used. In fact, um, you know, don't ever let the glue just form its own drop and just go drip right onto the piece. That would be kind of a sure loser. Okay, now I have, uh, look what we've just done. We've just made the big three hardest pieces of the whole plane that took us, I don't know, five minutes or something. So I have those right there. Um, I think next what I'll do is I'm going to assemble the motor stick, um, and then I'll, then I'll clear the deck here and uh, show you how to cover the plane. Uh, the motor stick, you know, the rule this year permits any length motor stick and any amount of rubber which is kind of interesting. It's almost like uh, an open class free flight model, something that doesn't have a lot of rules. And so uh, that lets us get away with a long, long loop of rubber and a long motor stick. So what I'm doing here is I'm assembling, you know, you have the main stick, let me move those out of the way. We have the main stick, and then you've got this extension. And then beyond that, we've got a tail boom that goes, up, goes beyond that. So I don't know if you can even see that in the whole, in the whole shot. So I'm going to use uh, the same glue Put a few few droplets right along here, which is where the uh, kind of the the extension sets in there, and uh, just going to go right in there like that. And you do have a little bit of working time with this medium CA; it doesn't lock up right away, and that gives you a chance to sight right down the stick. I don't want it to be at all cocked to the right, so you could tell. I want it to be perfectly straight as I look down the stick, and if anything have a little bit of tiny left kick to it, but don't, I really don't want to encourage that. I'd rather have you build everything nice and straight and then we'll, we'll tune it later. Uh, we'll need a little bit more glue right in there. I'm not being very neat. Um, this, is, this is one of the places where possibly you could get away with, with thin CA because it would wick right into that slot there, uh, but it'll be fine. There's no real need to get out the, get out the, the stuff that's hard to use. And I would be a little, you know, these gaps, it's tough to tune them with the I probably should add one little thousandth of an inch to that piece right here because I, I, this looks a little bit gappy to me, but it's never been a problem on any of the prototypes. And uh, let's see, now I'm going to attach the, the tail boom itself, and that slides right into there. And the same story, you see that the, if the tail it sort of kicks up, at the very back of the plane kicks up a little bit, and in the, um, in the front it, that notch just kind of engages right there. So I'm going to do the same thing uh, just a few droplets. Doesn't need to be, you know, hugely strong in there. Uh, one thing you want to watch out for here is you want to make sure that the, that it's very much flush with the, with the. Uh, oops, it's very much flush with the edge right there. You don't want this tail boom to have any droop to it. It it has about a degree of uh, upward tilt. We want to make sure that that's that's in there. Um, one thing you may notice is if you. If you were to line up these pieces, the edges are pretty close together on both sides. I, I drafted them so that the kerf, which is the V-shaped cut that the laser makes, that that kerf um, kind of is in opposite direction as we work our way down the motor stick. It should work pretty well. So uh, there we go. That's the motor stick. It's, long, it's too long to get in the shot. That's pretty long. I, I forget what the overall length is, but it's, it's pretty long. Okay, let's set that aside. And uh, I think it's time to to uh, cover the plane. 